Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You will often need to update the work performed on individual tasks in a project file. Tasks with a long duration often need their completion progress measured and marked individually as the work is completed over time. When entering progress made on a selected task in a project file, you can either individually mark the percentage complete or the actual work values completed. One reason you can do this is because some tasks can be front-loaded or back-loaded, meaning the majority of the work is incurred at either the beginning or end of the task's duration. In these cases, you may need to update the actual work progress made on the tasks, which may not correspond directly to the task's duration or percentage complete. For example, if your project file contained a front-loaded task with a duration of five days, you may complete 60% of the work on day one, with the next four days completing the additional 10% of the work required. In this case, you can individually mark the amount of actual work completed on the task as it occurs to accurately record the work performed. Entering a percentage complete for this type of task may not accurately reflect the actual work performed and could cause Microsoft Project to create scheduling errors when calculating the remainder of the task's duration. If you choose to update the percent complete of a selected task, Microsoft Project sets the actual start date of the task to match the scheduled start date and then calculates and updates the other related task units, like the actual task duration, the remaining task duration, and the associated costs based on the percentage value you enter. For example, if you update the progress of a task with a four-day duration to indicate it is 25% complete, Microsoft Project indicates that there has been one day of actual duration and three days of remaining duration. Alternatively, you can enter the actual work values recorded for a selected task. This method lets you enter the actual start date, finish date, work and duration values for the task. When you update this type of information, Microsoft Project uses the following set of rules to calculate the other task values. The first rule is when you enter the actual start date of a task, Project moves the scheduled start date to match it. Rule 2 is when you enter the actual finish date of a task, Project moves the scheduled finish date to match it and also sets the task to 100% complete. Rule 3 is when you enter the actual work completed on a task, Project calculates the work left to finish, if any. Rule 4 is when you enter the actual duration of a task, Project calculates the duration remaining. If the actual duration matches the scheduled duration, the task is also marked as being 100% complete. In addition to this, if the actual duration is longer than the scheduled duration, Project moves the actual finish date to match the duration entered. To update an individual task within a project file, select the task whose progress you wish to update in the project file. Click the Mark on Track drop-down button in the Schedule button group on the Task tab in the ribbon. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the Update Tasks command to open the Update Tasks dialog box. In this dialog box, enter the actual values to record. To enter the percent complete, type it into the percent complete field and then click the OK button to let Project calculate the other values. Otherwise, enter the actual work values to record into the fields that are available. You can enter the actual duration, remaining duration, actual start date, or actual finish date as needed. Then click the OK button to save the changes. When updating the actual values, Project then updates the corresponding values for the task as needed based on the rules we just examined in this lesson. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.